Hello and welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here. Um, introducing to you um, my new meditation and pranayama series. So I will be putting out each uh, video once a week, probably on a Sunday. And that will then, you'll have seven seven days worth and so each video you can get into grips with the foundations the beginner of meditation and breath work and pranayama introducing kriyas uh, implementing ways for you to really cleanse the body and mind and soul and spirit and be able to come into balance with your daily life, your health and well-being, uh, your heart. Uh, I do a lot of emphasis on the heart, on the body to really allow us to get in touch with parts of us that we forget. And across my, you just you can see the blue light on the glasses. Uh, so across like my journey in the past two years it's been more of a deep dive into areas of well i became a yoga teacher and um now i'm doing ayurvedic training to become an ayurvedic practitioner i'm coming back with a series so i have been off for a while but now i'm back with this series to really implement the deep practices. Um, breath work has been one of the most phenomenal, wow, uh, um, you know, modalities to be able to truly let go um, and to also manage my emotions. Managing emotions is so necessary. And I think children especially need to, uh, um, learn this and we don't have this in the education system there are things like emotional support management maintenance of health and um, nutrition to understand that the earth we stand upon you know gives us support and love in ways which are unimaginable like every herb every spice every you know plant not on you know plants have consciousness but also is water anyway um and you know each one is like has their own medicinal properties you know and we're here in this pharmaceutical world which is incredible for some things but there is a whole other world out there which we can tap into and tune into our own bodies and understand through our own intuition um, and through our own research and through our own ability we ha we are so capable of going to look and learn and study from home now to be able to really understand our bodies our mind what's really going on on this earth and know that it's so much larger than this 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 mainstream lifestyle right um so I really want to bring this bliss and peace and love and vitality and joy and playfulness silliness and and just not having that fear to to be that way to be a unique self to be your own unique self um and, and i want to bring that across so what i have decided to do i've created um a new youtube channel called turn towards love with rachel iris me and so <laughs> It's good. Is we need to individually release ourselves from all that no longer serves. We literally need to, and that, and you know, I could talk about that for a very long time. Um, but basically, we need to, like I was doing, rinsing myself from all the trapped, stuck emotion in my body, in in us all, from the 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 emotional baggage, the past experiences that have really brought us down. And, um, you know, we need, we need to, it's not like escaping it, it's transcending that. 
and we need to transform into the phoenix you know we need to be like yes i am the phoenix of my own life i am the warrior i am so i'll be introducing yoga and breathwork and meditation in many different aspects i'm not doing just something straightforward you will see me doing different kinds of meditation lower back because i have actually spondylosis thesis and um, many stories on how i've healed myself but my back was just like i couldn't move and i didn't and i knew it was stress right but it was deeper than that it was literal memories and specific moments in my life where an emotion's come up risen to the surface due to something that's happened outside which we you know again we need to manage i couldn't manage uh, and i've locked it off and i've continued to do that time and time again in a specific way for a specific charge for a specific trigger um trauma and so yoga has helped me to notice that and also heal that which has been literally mind-blowing because now I don't have pain in my back um, and I'm getting closer and, and um, to the positions I want to hold for and uh, for longer and gosh like it takes work you know we've been really conditioned into a certain narrative you know and we've you know by obviously society by the education system and everything but anyway i'm gonna just go into a bit more of a deep dive into certain things that i've been talking about uh, and i just wanted to be here with my face <laughs> to say hello um and i really hope that you can join me um through this whole self-exploration journey and i just i just I want to bring so much love to you and, and guide you in the best way I possibly can and I've really grounded in these practices, I've really become a stronger person and a person that, you know, giving so much to others, giving back to oneself as what I've learned is truly important, you know, and we need to keep our own cup filled you know because if this hole's in that cup then the water's leaking out right and there's no way there is no way we can give without giving to ourselves first and I know sometimes that can, that can sound cliche especially if you've got an intense lifestyle like mine it's it's we can find every excuse and but but um there are ways to do it and hopefully I can bring to you um um, a whole range of exercises to really guide you in ways that you need so please contact me um, comment down below and let me know um, what it is you want to see um, what it is you want to hear what it is you want to practice and I will try and do my best to navigate around those so yes thank you thank you if you're a subscriber i just have um just an incredible amount of love for you and gratitude i'm so thankful so thank you for listening to this introduction if you would like you can sit here with me for another couple of minutes just in gratitude and this sh uh, short meditation so if you'd like to just get comfortable and place your hands on your heart in Anjali Mudra in prayer position. Okay, if you're here with me and if you come in on this journey with me, let's place our hands on our hearts. Tune into the breath. Feeling the rise and fall. Tuning in 
into the belly. Feeling the fire, the emotion. Noticing whatever arises for you in this moment. Allow it to just be there, it's okay. We don't resist anything. Just allow things to pass by. We can always remember that we are peace. At all times when emotion arises and we feel angry or frustrated or sad or lonely, take a deep breath in through the nose, into the belly. Say to yourself, I am peace. And exhale. And inhale into the belly. I am love. Inhale, I am peace. Exhale. Thank you. You may open your eyes when you're ready. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. I am peace, I am peace, I am peace. And that's what the world needs right now is our peace. Sending you so much love.